Hey, what's up everybody? This is Steve from Snow Foundry. I've got a lot of great responses to my how to install Ubuntu Linux video, and I wanted to do a follow-up video on what to do if you have a NVIDIA graphics card. So there's a lot of different laptops out there that have both an Intel and an NVIDIA graphics card, and I'm gonna show you how to configure it so that you can use the NVIDIA graphics card when you wanna play a high-performance game or do video editing, etc. but turn it off when it's not in use and just use the Intel card so you can get the longest battery life possible. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is tell Ubuntu where to get the NVIDIA drivers. In this case, I recommend a PPA, or Personal Package Archive, called Graphics-Drivers. This was designed specifically to solve the issue of how do I get the newest drivers and know that they're going to work with my operating system. So we're going to add that PPA to Ubuntu and then tell it to download the newest NVIDIA drivers. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is click the Ubuntu icon, and we're going to search here for drivers, and we're going to go to Software and Updates. And software and updates, we're going to click other software and we're going to click add. Here we're going to type in PPA colon graphics dash drivers and click add source. It's going to ask for a password and we're going to enter that in here. And it's going to go ahead and add that software to our sources list. That means that when we go to install it, it's going to be available and have the newest version. So we're going to click reload when it asks us uh, to go ahead and refresh the internet software and that's just because it's reaching out to the remote server and now it's going to install uh, the new graphics driver when we tell it to now that it knows where it is. So the next step is what we're going to do is we're going to click the Ubuntu icon and we're going to just click additional drivers. In additional drivers we're going to see that NVIDIA is going to show up here and we're going to be able to select the newest version which at the time of the video is 367 for the stable version. So we're going to click this and we're going to click apply changes. It's going to ask for a password one more time and we're going to hit enter and that's going to go ahead and install the NVIDIA driver. So the neat thing about installing it from the PPA is in general somebody's already tested it you know it's basically going to work. Uh, you don't have to go to the NVIDIA website and download the driver and click a bunch of things or even go to the command line. We can do all of this just by clicking on the graphical interface adding the graphics-driver PPA and Ubuntu is going to take care of downloading the driver, installing it for us and keeping it up to date if any type of security patches or changes come out. Which... Okay, so why this is applying the changes, I'll explain to you for a second what it's doing. It's going to the internet, talking to the PPA, and it's getting a .deb file. This is like a zip file, but for Linux, and has a whole bunch uh, more features that integrate with your system. Like, for example, it's going to disable the open source driver. That way you don't have two drivers conflicting and trying to fight for which one's which. Uh, this one will set it to use the official NVIDIA driver, version 367, and everything will run very smooth once it's installed. And so our installation is finished of the NVIDIA driver. And so now uh, when we reboot, we'd actually boot up with the NVIDIA 367 driver. I should note here that although this dialog says open source, it's not open source. The reason it thinks it's open source is just because you're getting it from a PPA. Uh, but the, in fact, the NVIDIA driver is still closed source and it's not the open source free Novu driver. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go back to our software and updates and we want to make sure that we have the universe and multiverse enabled. So when we go to Ubuntu software and the updates, uh, I just want you to double check that you have universe and multiverse installed. Uh, those repositories will let us install Bumblebee and BB Switch, which are going to be the things that we're going to use to control the power management features of our card. The next step is we're going to install the Synaptics Package Manager. The reason is, is that the Ubuntu software store contains official approved Ubuntu software and we're going to use Bumblebee and BB Switch to turn off our NVIDIA card when we're not using it to save power. So we're going to need a uh, more advanced and sophisticated package manager. Synaptics is that package manager and we're actually going to install that through the Ubuntu software store. So we're going to click on the Ubuntu software icon here and we're going to type S-Y-N-A-P and we're going to see that's going to come up, the Synaptic package manager. We're going to click install. It's going to ask for a password again. We'll hit enter here. And uh, the package manager itself isn't too big, so it should install fairly quickly. And then once it's installed, it's going to pop up and we're going to install Bumblebee. And so the package manager installed. And it should pop up and give us a prompt here. There it is. And so now we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to read this dialog about the packages and click close. I'll make this full screen for the video and we're going to search for Bumblebee and we're going to go ahead and select Bumblebee and click mark and that also auto selects Primus. Uh, 
we're going to use Primus to switch back and forth between the Intel and the NVIDIA card. The reason we need Bumblebee is, is Bumblebee is going to interface with BB switch to turn off the NVIDIA card when not in use. The NVIDIA card takes the most power of anything in the system. And so by shutting that off and just using the Intel card, we're going to make our batteries last a lot longer. So now that we have all these selected, we're going to go ahead and click apply. And this is going to download Bumblebee, BB switch and Primus and make our system so that we can swap back and forth with the graphics cards a lot easier in kind of a more supported manner too. Primus is the official way to do it. Uh, I just add the additional Bumblebee slash BB switch layer to make sure that I'm getting optimal battery life. Okay, so Bumblebee is finished installing along with Primus. We're gonna click close there. And we're just gonna do one more check to make sure that we have BB switch because BB switch is actually gonna talk to the NVIDIA card and turn it off if it's on when it shouldn't be. And so we see that BB switch is already here. Uh, it's already selected and been installed, so we're good, so we can exit out of that. Okay, and so I'm going to go ahead and type sudo prime-select intel. So that updated a bunch of my files and made it so that I'm going to use intel, and at this point I can go ahead and reboot. So in the interest of keeping this video entirely uh, command line free, you just saw me do prime-select from the command line. There's actually an indicator applet where we can just go ahead and click the Intel icon or the NVIDIA icon and switch between the graphics cards as needed. And we're going to go ahead and install that from a PPA. So we're going to head on over to the web update PPA and we're going to search for prime indicator. So we're going to do prime indicator PPA and we're going to click over here. And we're going to install that just like we installed Bumblebee. So in this case, here's the PPA. And we are going to copy that and we're going to go to software and updates and we're going to do other software and add and we're just going to enter this PPA in here I'll put this in the notes too so you can just cut and paste it rather than uh, spelling it all out and so we'll click close there we'll do a reload and so what it's doing right now is reaching out to that PPA downloading the uh, newest versions of the software to figure out which one's the newest and then when we actually install it uh, it will get the files from that PPA since it knows all about it now Okay, and so it knows about it, and so we're just going to go to Synaptics again. Run that, and we're going to say, show me everything with Prime in it. Uh, there's probably a bunch of things with Prime in it, but we're just going to get this Prime Indicator. Okay, so here's the Prime Indicator. I'm going to mark that for installation and all of its dependencies, and I'm just going to go ahead and click Apply. So now what I've done is, is I've installed Prime Indicator and when we reboot, we're going to be on the Intel card and there's also going to be a graphical way to switch our graphics cards. Okay, we need to make one more tweak, which is a command line tweak, and then we're good to go. On some laptops, the NVIDIA card still isn't fully powered off, depending on how new it is and what combination. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the Bumblebee config file and we're going to tell it to use NVIDIA-367 instead of NVIDIA-current. So we're going to type sudo gedit slash etc slash bumblebee slash bumblebee.conf and you can just hit the tab key a bunch and it will match that. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to type control F and we're going to find NVIDIA-current. So the reason is, is that we're not actually using the current NVIDIA driver, we're using version 367. So just change all instances of NVIDIA-current to NVIDIA-367. So that way it will find the right driver and be able to turn it and power it off. Uh, we're also going to change the PM method to BB switch. Uh, and BB switch is the component which is going to tell the system how to turn off the NVIDIA card. So basically it's going to send a special signal to your NVIDIA card that fully powers it off. Okay, one more thing we need to do. We need to add the Bumblebee PPA to make sure we get the newest version of Bumblebee uh, from the testing branch. That will make sure that all the newest laptops uh, are shutting off the power correctly. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go to the Bumblebee team and get the testing PPA. And so in this case, it's just Bumblebee slash testing and we can just highlight this. We can cut and paste that and then go to our software. And what we can do is we can add this under other software just like our other PPAs. So we'll add this Bumblebee slash testing and we'll type in our password and we'll go ahead and click close here once it goes away and that's going to reload and once this is done reloading what we're going to do is, is we're going to open up synaptics and then tell it to upgrade bumblebee to the newest version so we're going to click synaptics enter our password in 
and we're going to go ahead and search for Bumblebee. And so we see this little icon here next to it. And so we're going to mark that for upgrade. And we're going to also upgrade that. And we're going to also upgrade Primus. And click Mark. And then we're going to click Apply. Click Apply one more time. And so now it's going to go ahead and update Bumblebee, Bumblebee NVIDIA, and Primus from the Bumblebee testing repo, which will give us the newest fixes from all the uh, different things that the BB Switch slash Bumblebee projects do uh, to make sure that this runs smoothly. Ubuntu comes with default packages and default config files. When you change them, Ubuntu notices it. So in this case, we've changed the default file from NVIDIA-Current to NVIDIA-367. We're going to go ahead and keep our changes because we're going to stay on the 367. Uh, but it's good to note that the system detects these things and will try and fix it for you. So if you did make a big error there, uh, you could just replace it with the original config file and then restart, and you'd still be okay. So we're going to go ahead and click Keep here because we want to keep our 367 changes. And we're going to let it install Bumblebee, Primus, and NVIDIA again. And there we go. So now we have the newest versions uh, with all the newest bug fixes, etc. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut down and restart the laptop. So we've rebooted the laptop and now we actually have a graphical indicator on the top of the screen. So if I go to the top of the screen, I can click Intel and I can click Quick Switch Graphics. This will allow me to switch over to the NVIDIA card. So now you can see that I'm on Intel graphics and I can do a lot of different things. Uh, the Intel graphics are very powerful, uh, but sometimes you want more power. So like if I'm doing 3D rendering in Blender or if I'm doing video editing in KDN Live or if I'm playing games, I'm gonna switch that to NVIDIA reboot and although I'm going to use more battery power I'm going to get more 3D power. Then when I'm done with that and just browsing the web or uh, programming things etc I'm going to switch over to the Intel graphics and that way I get the most battery life out of my laptop. So we rebooted the laptop we now have the newest Bumblebee, the newest Primus, the newest Nvidia drivers and they'll all be automatically updated if any other changes come out. We also have a graphical way to switch between the two graphics cards and we can verify the powers off. If you want to get a little technical with it and make sure the power's off, what you can do is go to the command line and type cat slash proc slash ACPI slash BB switch. This will tell you if the NVIDIA graphics card is turned on or off. So we verified it's off. We're saving a lot of power. And then we want to switch between the graphics cards. We can just click quick switch graphics. Okay, and so I hope that this video helped you figure out how to save the most battery life with your Optimus laptop. I did the entire thing through graphical tools, and I showed you a couple command line steps, which are just optional. So using the power of PPAs and recent software, we're able to make sure that this works even on a newer laptop like uh, the Lenovo ThinkPad W541. So if you have any questions or get stuck on anything, let me know in the comments or on the Ubuntu forums. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.